hello everyone welcome to the channel i'm very excited to share with you this new framework project from openai called as swarm i'm particularly excited about this because this is an open source project from openai and seems like of quite a good quality with a very simple concept in very simple words what this swarm is doing it is giving you an orchestration framework for multi agent system when we say orchestration of multi agent system simply it means that it creates ai based agents which coordinate with each other to perform a task so for example you have your own customer service department where different people do different tasks to satisfy a customer's requirement now they always coordinate with each other they talk with each other they provide information to each other and then exchange all of it in order to give the customer the final answer just think of replacing them with these autonomous ai agents which are controlled by swarm or orchestrated by swarm so swarm is orchestrating them which means that swarm is telling the agents which agent needs to do what and then whatever they are doing it then controls them makes sure that they are doing what they are supposed to do and then give the answer back the good thing is that it is very very simply written and i will shortly show you we will be installing it locally and then i will give you a few of the examples which you can simply also implement quite easily it's all in python which makes it even easier to understand and i will show you shortly as you can see on their github repo this is mit license you can readily implement it that's a quite a liberal license so that is why i am very sure about it before we proceed further and i give you more information around it let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description they are also running this hack to what 2024 where you can send your llm generated content and win 100 dollars in free gpu credit i will be one of the judges and i will also give you 50% discount coupon in video's description which you can check out now so coming back to this swarm look at this diagram which gives you a very clear answer what exactly the swarm is doing so this is an experimental sample framework at the moment which is exploring ergonomics interfaces for multi agent system the primary goal here is that to showcase the hand off and routine pattern which agents can do so you see user is asking what is the weather in new york and then there is a agent or triage assistant which is um, or maybe it is orchestrating it to the transfer to weather assistant and from there it is weather assistant is returning the weather and then it is being given back to the user it's a very very simple implementation and that is the whole idea behind it to keep it simple and then go from there so not only that this is just a single agent but if, when we have multi agent they are handing it off to from agent to agent back and forth so that a complete answer could be given to the user let me go to my terminal where i am running ubuntu 22.04 let me clear the screen and then let's create a virtual environment with conda and we are going to install this so let's wait for it shouldn't take too long now and that is done let's install some of the prerequisites which are torch open ai transformers this is going to take a minute or so so let's wait prerequisites are done next up let's git clone the repo of this swarm and i will drop the link to it in video description that will take a minute or so it is going to install few things and swarm is installed now let me clear the screen and let's go to our vs code and then we will see how this swarm works so let's wait for it to get launched so my vs code is launched and i have just pasted this simple code chunk 
Also make sure that your OpenAI's API key is set in your environment like this and that is a paid option and you can get it from platform.openai.com okay so and i will also tell you towards and how much credit i have consumed so as this is an api base so you don't need a gpu for this sort of setup okay so what is happening here now in this one all we are doing we are importing the swarm and its agent from there we are initializing the swarm and then this is where we are transferring it to agent now this run is from it this client is running so it is instantiating this agent a so there are two agents there is agent a agent b this is the name of the instruct uh, agent these are the instructions for the agent and this is a function agent needs to do which is transferred to agent b so and what agent b is doing agent b a task is to only sp speak in haikus and then we are running and the message we are passing it i want to talk to agent b and printing it so let me go back to my terminal let's run this let's wait for it there you see agent b has been called ready to address your needs and then agent b is talking in the high course so this is a very simple example to show not only this easily you can assign different functions to the agents and you can coordinate between them with the help of swarm and if you really think about it this was very easy and whatever functionality your application is doing asynchronously you can simply hand off tasks to the agents they can also talk with each other and then they can perform a unified task the cool thing is that they also have given some ready-made examples in the code which you can get from the repo so if you go to the examples open it up you will see that there is this basic flow so if you click here there is a agent handoff this is simple what we have just seen where it is transferring and then the agent is speaking in spanish so for example if i just run this agent underscore handoff dot by from the example so you see, I have just run this basic agent underscore handoff dot by, and the agent is speaking in Spanish. Similarly, if I go back and maybe if you see this function calling, we already have seen it is a weather function one. So if I maybe go back here and run this instead of agent handoff, we run function calling let's wait for it there you go so it has given us the function and if you look at it all that is happening this is the agent and the task of this agent is to get weather and this is how it is getting the weather so it is simply executing a function and this is where we are asking it and this is where agent is being called with the user's natural language message similarly for the more complex example <clears throat> if you go to this customer service and then they have given some of the session stuff here there is a personal shopper this is a customer service streaming which you can and they have given ready-made examples here there is also a very interesting example about airline which you can check for example if i go to main.py here and they have setting the config context variable and all that stuff from here and now let me show you the real magic of this swarm which i believe is going to be huge hit and you can readily embed it in your application and that is a chat interface before i do that let me also give a huge shout out to our sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content Agent QL works on any page. It is resilient. It is reusable. It structures output according to the shape of your query. So do check them out. Okay, coming back to this swarm. So let me take you to my terminal and actually show you. That will give you a better idea what we are going to do. So I'm going to run this airline example here. And so this example is going to demonstrate as a multi-agent setup for handling different customer service requests in an airline context using the swarm, for, uh, swarm framework. And these agents are going to triage request, handle flight modification, cancellation, and lost baggage cases. 
and this basically runs a demo func uh, helper function which is called as run demo loop where we can have an interactive swarm session and this is how so i'm running it there you go so swarm shila is started let's ask it i'm going to ask it hi i need to book a flight from sydney to melbourne urgently so you see it is working it is working now triage agent is saying i will transfer you to the flight modification team for assistance please hold on <clears throat> then it has orchestrated it to the flight modification agent and flight modification agent is saying i apologize for the confusion i understand you need to book a new flight i can assist you with modifying an existing booking so because this is so here is a thing because i haven't defined that new booking so that is why it is asking me it can only modify it, it but it is not erroring out it is asking me to just reach out to them so i'm going to say oh sorry i made a mistake i need to change my flight from this arvo to tomorrow morning so arvo is a australian slang for afternoon so let's see if it understands or not there you go <clears throat> it says that can i can assist you with this let's just process current flight detail so my flight is 111 on at 7 a.m sorry maybe 4 p.m today change it to 6 a.m tomorrow let's wait for it so it says it is eligible for change and then it it, it is looking for available seats okay so let's see okay and then of course you can modify it accordingly <clears throat> yes so modify it is modifying it is asking for me confirmation about change and then let's also ask about lost package i lost my laptop bag last week on flight 222 from brisbane to newcastle let's see it's not a English Newcastle, Newcastle. This, it is a small city near Sydney. So let's see. It says, yep, it is great news. Your laptop bag has been found. How good is that? Okay, so you see how easy it is to interact with this swarm agent and then chat with it. All you need to do is to go to their repo and then get the code from there and enjoy. So really impressed by this swarm tool. Of course, it works with OpenAI, but so look we have seen in the past that people have been conver converting these tools easily into local or llama based or any other uh, open llama based or llama.cpp based tool so who knows we will also see an open swarm soon so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think about this tool if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed Please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.